What do we do at the day after a blizzard? We do a blizzard beach party in mommy's tub. Right? Are we having a blizzard beach party in the tub? Yeah. We got bathing suits on. So it's just a fun thing to do in the winter time when it's when there's lots of snow outside. I just thought that would be fun to do for the kids. Our tub doesn't get used that much uh, by us because we don't have a lot of time to just sit in a tub, especially because that tub takes like it feels like a gazillion years to fill. It takes probably about an hour to fill to, with warm water anyway, because you run out of warm water halfway through and then you have to wait for it to get warm again. Because of that, we don't use it that often. If we had to do things over again, we would have gotten a smaller tub, but the kids have fun with it anyway. Every once in a while, we'll fill it up and let the kids just have a grand old time in there. And baby just laying in the bed, chewing on her fingers. Right? Being, she was being happy until just a minute ago. Uh -huh. And while the other kids are getting a bath, and getting a blizzard bath, beach bath, uh, Taya's doing homeschool art, right? Yeah, I'm gonna actually go in after I'm done Kevin, or no, that's Kevin, those are Kevin. She's doing a YouTube channel called Art Hub for Kids. It's really good, right, Ty? Yeah, it's really fun. And I call her Belle. So she did this from the YouTube channel, and now she's doing a Minion. And she's gonna color that in, this right? This part was like... Our hub, our hub for Kids has like all kinds of like stuff on how to draw things and how to do things, so it's really, Neat for people to do when they homeschool for art class or just to do just to do it Just because you want to and it's fun even if you don't get homeschooled So Taya didn't want to do the bl the blizzard beach party. So she's down here drawing and this is the aftermath of a Blizzard day yesterday. Yeah, this is what our foyer looks like and it extends in here That's where they got their gloves and stuff out of but it never returned back into there because they were wet, so they just threw them on the floor, and there they sit. Because I haven't been feeling good, and I can't do it all. When you can't feel good, you can't do everything. So you just pick and choose the most important things to do, and that's what you do. And this wasn't impor as important as the mother did yesterday, so there it sits. Oh, oh my word, that's crazy. <laughs> Kelly and just does litter splashes. This is what I do. Oh, that's not that big. I get the cool mom award, guys. So, I actually, to make it even healthier for them in the tub, I sprinkled some sea salt in the tub because everybody's fighting stuff, fighting like sicknesses, and I'm like, let them soak in a nice warm tub with sea salt in it. It will only benefit them while they're having fun. I might do that tonight, while after they're in bed. And you wish you could go in the tub, don't ya? Yeah? You wish you could go in the tub? You're getting ready for a nap feed, right? Mommy has to feed you so you can go on night night. Take a little afternoon nap. Yeah. Are you trying to talk? Are you trying to talk? Yeah, mommy's getting her voice back again and you're finding your voice. Uh now Talia decided to join now Talia decided to join in. Hello. Four in a tub. Rub a dub dub for kids in a tub. Four kids 
in the tub. Rub it up, dub. Brody, don't get out. Taya first didn't want to go in the tub, and I told her. You should just go in, even if you don't want to play with them, like if you don't want to play with the rest of them, just go in to just soak in the nice sea salt water and let the jets hit your back. It feels so good. So she decided to jump in. They're back to counting how much, how long they can hold their breath. They're being competitive about it now. As long as you're, hey guys, as long as you, as long as you're careful with it, okay? Try me now, guys. May the best. Kid win. <laughs> Go. That didn't count. Why? Because I was like in a tight corner. I bagged my head, and you. Well, you yeah, you did it for maybe like 15 seconds, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody is, is working on homeschool history right now. They're coloring states. Which states are you coloring? Um, Indiana and New York. Indiana and New York. I'm kind of going through the 50 states by just letting them pick two states each week. And... I picked New York, Tyler picked Indiana. They're liking it doing it that way. And they're all into it, even Kellyanna. Look, Kellyanna's coloring right here. And another day and another cold with a hacking cough and a lost, well, I had, you know, I've been having a lost voice over the last couple days, but it's like better today. It's not so 100%, but. And we have a surprise. We found out my ears are um, having, they still have holes in it. And I just tried it the other day, I wiggled it in and it went in. Yes, if you don't realize, how you got her ears pierced back like, what was it, two years ago now? Yeah, two years ago at Myrtle Beach. And the video can be right here. So um, you can view that, but she got her ears pierced. And then you can also view a video that's right here too about her ears getting infected by getting them at Claire's. So she couldn't wear earrings for the longest time, right Taya? She, two years later, she's just now putting earrings in and they haven't closed up, surprisingly, but, and now they're finally not infected. And look at those pretty earrings. She's been waiting to wear those forever. Oh, I know. They were like 10, $15. I really love them. So we're gonna try putting like a salt, sea salt solution on them to hopefully not have them get infected again. How excited are you to finally wear earrings? Whoa. Now you're getting your socks all wet. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those socks are wet now. Now I'm excited. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Why did you do that, Talia? I wasn't expecting that at all. Talia thinks she's big stuff now that she has her earrings yeah, in. She's walking. She's walking around like all like older, Talia. tucking her ears, her hair back. <laughs> Pretty much, that's how she's doing it. She put my lipstick on this morning and tucking her hair back and all being all sassy. Brody gets all into it. He has his tongue come out. That's what my brother Jeffrey used to do when he would, would do stuff. He must take after him. Jeffrey's all we used to say about him always sticking his tongue out when he was concentrating. Ty was busy with our hub for kids more. She's been having lots of fun this afternoon with that. She made this. She made that. She made Bart Simpson. And of course you saw those ones, but now she finished coloring them. I think we have a natural artist on her hands here. She's doing pretty fabulous. And what did you say about Ty's drawings? Yeah, I said her drawings are really good because She's, she's actually been getting the proportions correct, which is the hardest part of drawing, because actually, actually me and Julie took drawing classes in college. Um, she's getting the proportions on her drawings correct, which, you know, a lot of people when they draw a face, they'll have like a small ear and a big ear and a big arm and a little arm and they can't get everything right. The stuff she's drawing is actually proportionally like spot on, which is really good for just starting out drawing. It's one of the hardest things to learn. Uh-oh, Cohen has 10 minutes 
on the clock to get done his dinner. He's always one of our last kids to eat dinner and, and we're always like waiting for him to eat his dinner. Comment below if you ever had one a kid a child that took super long to eat or if you were that child. Oh, now that he's being taped, he knows. He knows he's he's moving fast just for you guys. Did he make it? The beeper's going off. Did he make it? Did he make it? It just hear it. It's beeping. Oh, just in the nick of time. You got lucky, punk. You got lucky. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Hey, what'd you make it, Ty? An eagle? No, don't see. Oh, wait, so I'm not. Wait, what? what? I'm not allowed to see? Uh, no. I gotta wait till I'm done. Jeez. Guess we gotta wait till she's done. So Ty's done. There's her finished look. She did like an eagle head. So Julie just got out of the hot tub bath and the kids are in bed, at least they're supposed to be in bed. Does that and, make you more relaxed? Oh my word, I haven't got, the last time I got a bath like that was like when I had a baby and I was in labor. And that doesn't count, does it? Because I'm in labor. I mean, the last time I actually got a bath without being in labor, I don't even know when that was. But like it, I need to do it more often. I need to make it a weekly thing and so do you because it felt amazing. I turned on some praise music. What if they don't have a bath? But anyway, like I just I threw in some sea salt, some lavender, some coconut oil, and I just some detoxing. And our whole bathroom smells like it. And I hope it de I hope it gets rid of this cold. That's my purpose. They had a blizzard beach party. I'm having a detox part cold party, you know, to get rid of the cold. That hot tub got more use today than it probably has in the last what, eight months combined. What it came down to is I felt jealous looking at the kids. Like, I was like, I'm gonna be in there, like with the jets on me. <laughs> yeah, last time I was in a hot tub was on vacation. I haven't been in that one for probably three, four, five years. I don't even ten years. I have no idea. It's been a long time since I've been in there. So we are still um, in a nice warm house when it's super freaking cold outside because the blizzard came and went. And even though it wasn't really a blizzard, there was still six inches of just raw ice outside. Going to work in the morning it really stinks when it's. 15 degrees and windy in the morning and your car is covered in ice. So if you can relate, comment below. Um, it's just miserable. So I got one more day this week of really crappy mornings until it starts to warm up. So in any case, we're gonna leave you with that and I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff, comment below. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. It's been real. It's been real. There's joy as the days go passing by. There's hope. A better life for you and I Take our dreams and fly Together we can try That's life